Hey guys, welcome to Supercars of London and I'm down in Portsmouth with Aspect Valeting, as you can see behind. And Ben is just unloading the van, getting ready to clean the Ironman Audi R8 because since I've bought the car, um, I've learned the importance of looking after it, keeping it clean and also just um, taking care of such a, an expensive toy. Now, when it was silver, I washed it a couple of times, but Aspect Valeting um, have been with me for about two years now and I've known Ben for a long time and he wanted to get his hands on the car, get his hands dirty to get this car clean and um, we waited until it was wrapped so that he could apply all of his products, his ceramic coating and also work his magic so that all of the stuff like, I don't know whether you can see it, but the dirt here, where's my finger? Oh, there's my finger. That has just come off my back bumper, and I'll do it again with a clean finger so you guys can see. Here, my fingers, clean. Hmm, that's what the best music says. There you go. So, that's how dirty my car is. So, it's time to get this red and gold car. Ben's over here, uh, kneeling down by his van. Ben, come and say hello. Hello, how are you doing? Explain uh, what's going to be going on with okay. the uh, okay. Ironman R8. Okay, Wait. we're going to be doing a, a deep detail cleans, um, cleanse today, I beg your pardon, and that's going to literally consist of starting with the wheels using the fallout product, which effectively takes any of the brake dust, um, iron filings and etc. off the wheels, um, because obviously the less we uh, make contact with everything on the vehicle, the less it's going to scratch. Um, and then after that, we'll simply jet wash those off, um, and then we're going to snow foam the vehicle up with uh, a little white. Lovely jubbly by uh, MV, which again, the um, whole idea of the snow foam technology is to uh, detract all the dirt and, and uh, anything that's on the vehicle off the vehicle and it runs off, which you'll see very shortly. Um, then we'll uh, jet wash that off and then use a, a Zymol product, a bathing product, um, like a shampoo, which we'll use again with um, a wool mitt, which again is anti scratch technologies. Um, and then we'll go over the vehicle with some horsehair brushes just to get really deep detail into all these little areas and the plastic trims. It needs a lot of TLC, this car, I'll tell you that. Very much so. And then uh, we'll dry that off, then we'll set the gazebo up and we'll finish with the ceramic coating protection today, which will guarantee this car for up to five years against marring, which you can probably see a little bit on the wrap um, already at the moment. Um, swells, the camera's rubbish at picking and, it up, so. And, and, and things like that. So, um, yeah, no, it's going to be interesting a few hours, but by the time we finish this car, it's going to look uh, probably one of the best in, in the country. What are you talking about? Already looks the best in the country. <laughs> <laughs> when you know what you're doing, you have to, exactly. So I've become useless in these videos because when my car got serviced, I didn't know anything about engines, so I couldn't really uh, give any sort of... Um, couldn't really give any sort of information or anything like that, so at least you're here to give some information because we're valeting again. I have not got a clue. He's got an engine in the back of his van. Oh, it's a hose. I'm getting out of the way, I'm gonna get wet. So this shampoo, does this shampoo? This is like a pre-cleanser, it's called a snow foam. Uh, there's various products out there that I use, generally Mitchell and King Snow, uh, MV uh, Lovely Jubbly Bubblegum, and uh, Wax. That's actually the name, Lovely Jubbly, Lovely Jubbly Bub Bubblegum. <laughs> and uh, also I, I, I generally, most of the time, use Wax Stick and Imperial um, snow foam as well. The whole idea of this is, again, as I mentioned earlier, when, when valeting and detailing a car, it's so important, the less contact, the better, because all you're gonna create is marring, which is effectively swell marks and swelling in the bodywork. And scratching. Which, which is effectively scratches the car, which is produced from uh, grit in cloths, uh, sponges and things like that. What this is doing now is we leave it for literally a couple of minutes and it's lifting any dirt that's on the vehicle off 
obviously into the foam itself. And then onto the um, grass. And then, and then obviously <laughs> off. It's environmentally friendly, which is obviously very important nowadays because being mobile as well, working on roads and car parks, etc. People's You're drive. talking about being environmentally friendly, cleaning an army tricks are right. There we go. So, uh, yeah, well, I suppose in one sense or another. That means it's good. The valeting. It's, it's, the valeting side of it is green. The valeting, yeah, very much so. It is very much so, yes. But the car itself isn't. But then as we all know, Paul drives at five mile an hour. Just to average, what, 47 miles to the gallon out of an R8. When I, when so. I get bet £100 to drive to Edinburgh on one tank of fuel, it's uh, e eco driving. So we just let this bathe itself for a couple of minutes and then we'll jet wash it off and then we'll use a Zymol bathing product, which is like a shampoo with uh, a wool mitt. Um, again, anti-scratch technologies and some horsehair brushes. And uh, we'll just do a deep detail and cleanse, just get all the knocks and crannies, jet wash that off and then dry it off, which you'll see later. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. I'll keep it a little bit cool as well, mate. So now for the ceramic coating. Oh, pre-cleanse pre first. Yeah, so just make sure there's no more wax or polish on the vehicle. Um, any cleaning solutions, anything like that, so we're using it. I'll show you the uh, oh. cleaner. Marks. Because I said to you earlier, it's imperative that we bond this product to. Um, Got my lip stuck in there, I think. <laughs> uh, no, I think I'm out of shot. I think I'm out of shot. I hope I am. If I'm not, if I'm not, I'll put it in. We're now about three and a half hours into the full detail and uh, ceramic coating. Uh, ben has finished the roof and just finished the bonnet and he is sweating. It's so hot outside. And I feel really bad because I can't really help him. Uh, it's quite specialist what he's doing and uh, he knows what he's doing and he's been probably spent about 45 minutes to an hour just on the bonnet alone. So um, I'm just sort of sitting around trying to make conversation whilst he's sweating away. So it's... Um, Quite funny. I'll get him on camera in a bit so you can see what he's like. It's uh, but he's uh, working his absolute socks off. Here goes Ben. I can hear him. <laughs> he jugs of ice. And how? Uh, look at that. Runs off it. just spent an hour waxing this so he, he wouldn't do that if he knew what he was doing or knew what would happen <laughs> so even if you like spilt coke on it it would do the same thing anything water anything. dirt the whole lot is durable gets most solids and uh, amazing yeah, normal um, everyday fallout or things like that rain water and stuff road water dirt grime should just repel against everything let's charge my phone unfortunately I lost the red on the front of my phone. A lot of people have been asking where I got my wrap, eBay. Just go, uh, search iPhone 5S sticker. But look, let me see how scratched this is. Or see if I can show you how scratched it is. Chrome is not the color 
Check that out. Horrible. And the red started to peel as well on the front, so I took that off, so there's no red on the front anymore. Um, but they're still pretty cool. Temporary, only like three pounds, so pretty pretty good bargain, yeah. You should get aspect valeting one. Chrome, yeah, of course. Chrome and then chrome blue, like your logo. And ceramic And then ceramic coat. And then it won't scratch. It probably won't scratch then, would it? Nope. <sighs> should have bought my. Should have left it, and then brought it down here, so that you could ceramic coat my phone with Give the some take home, Paul. with the wrap on. <laughs> Give you some take home, mate. Oh, brilliant. Looks like I'm gonna have to go back on eBay, buy another one so that it's not scratched and then ceramic coat it. Oi. But it looks awesome. Absolutely awesome. Once the interior's done, I'm literally not gonna... Everyone that comes in my car has to take their shoes off and leave them outside on the side sidewalk. I was just about to say sidewalk. <laughs> pavement. You have to leave your shoes on the pavement to get into my car now. Definitely no eating. But at the moment it looks like a uh, tech center. With my laptop plugged in, charging it, charging my phone. The interior is starting, off goes a carpet. Whoa, they got all this. Whoops. <laughs> it's just so much stuff. Dirt, mate. Dirt. That's my contribution there, right there. <laughs> <laughs> so with less than 5% battery on my Sony video camera, which I really need to get my battery checked because it keeps cutting out. Um, with my car complete from the outside, the inside is being prepped at the moment, the carpets are being done. We're not sharing aspect validating secrets into how you get the stripes. Um, but I hope that you have enjoyed this video, enjoyed meeting Ben, Aspect Valeting. See you uh, again. And yep, definitely, we'll be uh, seeing a lot more of Aspect Valeting very, very soon. And um, my car is looking fantastic. I hope you guys think so too. And uh, oh look, some stripes are coming. Quick glance. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure that you subscribe. Uh, and definitely check out Aspect Valeting and I will see you guys very very soon. Bye bye. Wait Ben. <laughs> <laughs>